It's time to see who has SA's way better family recipe on Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. Hello and welcome to the very first round of Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. My name is Zareda Jardine and over the next 13 weeks, 27 families will compete in a culinary adventure. Each team consists of an adult and a child and every week for nine weeks, three teams will compete. The winners of these teams go through to the semi-finals where eventually they battle it out for the grand prize. My family didn't try out for the show, but here at home we are kings of the kitchen. I'm no chef, but like most moms, I know the difference between what tastes horrible and haute cuisine. I will be judging the dishes together with two of South Africa's gastronomic wizards. Thank you, Sereda. Hi, my name is Martin Cobalt. Welcome to my Chef MLK School of Cooking. The children you see behind me is the ones I share my passion with. I'm involved in the World Association of Chef Societies. I cooked for, for people like Will Smith. I cooked for people like Nelson Mandela. A winning recipe for me is, of course, what the translation is for what's on the piece of paper where the recipe is written on and what's actually going to be landing up on the plate. So that's very important. So don't fool me and give me a recipe and give me something completely different to eat because that's what I'm going to be judging on. Martin thinks he's a tough guy, but in fact, he's a very soft one. Hi, my name is Coco Reynards. And this is one of my restaurants, Le Cell at the Cradle, situated in the cradle of humankind. I will judge the contestant with their ability, with their technique, uh, with the passion that they put in the, in the dishes. I don't want them to create something that might be, uh, they think it's a, it's a fusion cuisine they want to do by adding this, that and this, where at the end of the day, it becomes a, a confusion cuisine. We're about to learn how much backache and even heartache goes into making the perfect dish. All right, South Africa, aprons on, let's get cooking. Welcome to the Way Better Kitchen. The stage is set for the first cook-off, and this is where souffles will rise or implode, and where soups will thicken or clot. Three family teams of aspiring chefs are ready to discover who cooks way better. Let's meet the teams, the Cinderella's. Uh, hi, I'm Zenith Essa. I'm Sumia Khan. And I am the big cook. And the little cook. Samia is my niece. She's been like the daughter I've never had because I have three little boys. We are the Cinderella's. So we thought we'd be like the underdogs that might win this competition. So it would really be a Cinderella story. My life revolves around cooking. So I have three kids with completely different taste buds and a husband that has also a completely different taste. So I end up cooking sometimes two or three different meals a day. Well, the trip to Disney World is something that we've been planning for a while. So if I win, that's almost like this blessing because it's something we really would love to do with the kids. Our way better family recipe is called butter chicken and rice. This recipe comes all the way from Malawi. It's my husband's aunt's recipe from Malawi and she's an amazing cook. Uh, whenever she comes here on holidays, we all gather at my mother-in-law's place and all we make her do is just cook and cook so we can eat and eat and then we chat and we laugh and we just indulge in her amazing food. And voila, here you have it, butter chicken. Not Hollywood style, Malawi style. Team Cinderella! The Skippers clan. My name is Christina Skippers. Um, I'm the big cook and this is my little cook, Neil Skippers. The name of our dish is warm potato bake. Neil, you can start uh, cutting the bacon so long. We enjoyed the old fashioned Buddha course. The name of our team is Skippers clan. Skippers clan! Uh, we choose it because our surname is Skippers and clan means there's two or three people so it's me my two boys and while my husband works away in Nigeria. I see my dad three times a year and it's not so fun without my dad here. When he comes home we make plenty of poikis all together. I would like to win this competition because I would enjoy some improvements in my kitchen. My kitchen is very dark I want to win this because I was never at um, Disneyland and my brother showed me 
um, pictures of Disneyland and I got so worked up. And the brainstormers. My name is Kaval Morris and this is my daughter. Tiana Shandira. And our team name is the brainstormers. brainstormers. And that's because we like to think. The name of our dish is mixed seasonal veggies together with OMG chicken. So I've always loved cooking, that's because my mom, who lives next door, <laughs> has always loved cooking and I just took that from her. We're busy renovating this place, I mean the kitchen's got really great space and I can see it totally coming alive. It served the purpose up until now but it's really becoming dated. <laughs> <laughs> The Cinderella, tell us how you're feeling. Oh, excited, nervous. It's absolutely nerve-wracking. You, know, you look around, you have stations all around you, red, yellow, blue. What can we look forward to with your dishes? A great dish, mm -hmm. tasty, awesome, and hopefully not a strong. Nice, some nice Indian not spices. Not strong, we love Indian spices. Okay, we've got the Skippers clan. How are you feeling? Nervous. Yeah? You Little cook? Good. I felt scared because I saw all these cameras and I thought they're going to show everywhere we walk. Okay, and then we've got the brainstormers. You guys look like you're really happy. Yeah, we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Excited. What can we look forward to with you? Um, I think really somewhere on the plate. Okay, I think when we walked into the kitchen, I was just amazed at how beautiful it is. Everything is set up so well. So very excited to get on with this. Yeah. Do you guys often cook together? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Good. You ready to do this? Definitely. Ready to start the show? Yes. Okay, the time has come for you to open up your cloche. And put on your aprons. She called dubs and red, so she really wanted that. When I got my apron, I wasn't happy because I wanted the blue apron. I was disappointed because I really, 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 really would have loved to get red. Are you guys ready to compete against each other? Yes. Definitely. Right, let's turn up the heat with the first challenge. It's the Way Better Quiz. I'm going to ask a trivia question about Clover to the teams. They have 45 seconds to put their heads together to come up with an answer and to write it on their blackboards. The team that gives the correct answer or the closest correct answer gains an advantage in the next round. That advantage is an extra 10 minutes of cooking time. And those critical minutes could make all the difference between a culinary conquest or a catastrophe. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ready. And your question is, from how many farms does clover source its milk? I'll repeat the question. From how many farms does clover source its milk? Your time starts now. I'm going to take a guess. When it comes to answering questions like that, um, I think it's a little bit of luck and a little bit of instinct and a little bit of insight. I wanted to put 250 but my mom said no because there is a lot of farms what Clover gets milk from. You have 15 seconds. At first, I guessed uh, like about 100, 110. My auntie told me no, that there's way probably more. The time is up. Talk's down. Okay, so only one team can walk away with that extra time. The question is, who is it going to be? Team Cinderella, let's see what your answer is. 200. Team Skipper's Clan, 500. And finally, Team Brainstormers, we have 50. Viewers at home, you can win some great weekly prizes by participating in the Clover Way Better Twitter competition. You have to answer the same question, which is, how many farms does Clover source its milk from? Post your answers on Twitter to at CloverLBCO. And remember that the competition is only open for the next 24 hours. So start tweeting right now. And we'll see which of our teams got the answer right after the break. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. 
I'm Zoraida Jardine, and you're about to find out which of our three teams wins a 10-minute advantage. Let's see if any of you are close to the correct answer and closer to your dream. It's over to Clover. Every time you enjoy a Clover product, you can taste the quality that comes from a proud heritage dating back more than a century. Using cutting-edge technology, maintaining an unbroken cold chain and demanding quality tests throughout the production process all contribute to Clover being the nation's leading producer of quality dairy products. But it all starts in the farms where Clover milk is produced. There are thousands of dairy farms across South Africa, but only a select few meet Clover's stringent criteria. From the moment the truck arrives at the farm, the quality tests begin. Every batch of milk is tested, ensuring that suppliers live up to their pledge to provide Clover with only the very best. The location of our farms in relation to our factories is key because it means that we keep our truck's travel time to a minimum, reducing our carbon footprint. A badge of honor not liberally bestowed, only 210 dairy farms across the country can boast of supplying Clover with the milk on which their reputation is built. There you have it. <laughs> Clover sources its milk from 210 farms. How did you get that close, Cinderella's? We figured it had to be more than 100. Definitely couldn't be 50 or, or less than that, so it had to be more. So I almost thought uh, they were going to say it's like a 1,000 farms, and I just didn't think South Africa had that many farms. With the yellow team winning the 10-minute advantage, uh, for me that actually worked out great. But because ours is really simple, meant for kids to be able to do it, we don't want a long, elongated process, and so it actually worked out perfectly. When we didn't win the Why Better quiz, I actually was very nervous because our dish takes a while. How do you feel about having the advantage going into the first round? I've got a lot of cooking to do today <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of steps involved so that's going to be, uh, uh, that, it, you don't even understand how much this is going to mean to us. Now it's time to put your skills to the test in our first cooking challenge. It's the family recipe cook-off which is why I'm calling on the experts. Let's welcome them into our kitchens, our two chefs extraordinaire. He's at the forefront of contemporary African cuisine. He's also the chef patron at restaurant Celle Poivre and Le Petit Sel at the Fair City Hotels. Welcome Coco Reynolds. Ça va. Welcome, Coco. Hello, Zureda. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you too. And the honorary president of the South African Chefs Association, this man is also the global chairman of the Marketing and Communications Committee of the World Association of Chef Societies, Martin Cobalt. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome, Martin. Now, I'm certainly thrilled to be working with these masters, and I'm sure that the family teams can't wait to hear what happens next. Right? <laughs> Martin? Well, this is your very first cooking challenge, and it's a very exciting one. Thousands of family cooks send in their brilliant recipes. But now today we're going to be learning about your culinary secrets. So what we'll be expecting for you is to put life in those beautiful uh, recipes you send. Okay? And we will be judging uh, your favorite family fare. Okay. I hope you guys are psyched up. Yes. You ready? Yes. Everyone to your stations. You know, I was very excited to see who they are and I think that they're going to be fair and they're just a brilliant choice. When you look at the judges, they look comfortable, they look happy. Um, we don't really feel intimidated around them. Okay, guys, please note that whoever wins this challenge once again, you have an advantage in the next challenge. The Cinderella's, you won the quiz challenge, which means that you get a 10 minute head start. Our other teams, the uh, Brainstormers and our Skippers clan, you will start 10 minutes later and you will have 90 minutes to finish your dish. You will have 100 minutes. Okay, now Clover's Little Big Cook-Off consists of two challenges. The first is the family recipe cook-off, and the team that wins this challenge gets an advantage going into the second round, which is the tag team baking challenge. The winner of the baking challenge wins the episode and goes through to the semi-finals. The champions of this 13-part cook-off will be flown all expenses paid to Disney World in Florida for a week of family fun and laughter. While they're out there having the time of their lives, Clover's Ace Team will do a complete makeover of their kitchen to the value of 300,000 Rand with appliances sponsored by Russell Hobbs. Are you ready? Go. Okay, you're gonna do the rice for me? Okay. 
Okay. I didn't really feel like it was a problem because our dish was easy and quick. Okay, there we go. Is that fine? Yeah. Pop it in the microwave for me for uh, just about five minutes, then we can get the water boiling for the rice. And once the rice is up, we can just cook it on low. So I know that's out of the way. I think it gave us that little bit of extra confidence knowing that we had 10 minutes extra. The biggest competition, I think, is the yellow steam. What do you think? Looking good so far. Are we looking good? Yeah. Okay. Our way better family recipe is called butter chicken and rice. The ingredients for our butter chicken are as follows. Chopped up onions, rice, diced chicken, fresh cream, garlic and ginger masala, ghee, oil, tomatoes, which are going to be liquidized. liquidized. Then dana, which is coriander. And then we've got cinnamon stick, cumin, paprika, turmeric, chili powder, salt, crushed coriander. And we've got the coal for smoking the chicken. And that smoky flavor is infused into your meat. Can you grind some salt in it? Yeah. Hold it. Yeah, and you just press it. How much? Uh, well, you tell me and you stop. Like. Yeah, I think for me, it, there was a level of anxiety that sort of kicked in. I think just the idea that you, you know, want to get on with, with cooking. Our dish is mixed seasonal veggies together with OMG chicken. All we will need is half a lemon, mini tomatoes, carrots, baby marrows, mushroom, chicken breasts, extra virgin olive oil, some herbs and salt, crushed garlic, and some chicken spice, and 100 grams of clover butter cut in half. The name of our dish is warm potato bake. Neil, you can start uh, cutting the bacon so long. What you uh, get in there is uh, potatoes, spring onions, mushroom, bacon, three cheeses, milk, cream, chicken stock. You put it in an oven for on 180 degrees until it's cooked and then you put your cheeses on and some fresh chives on top for garnish and that's all. Brainstormers, Skipper's Clan, get ready to cook. You can go to your stations, cook away. Mommy's pinning up the machine. Is that fine? That's perfect. Good, my baby. Good girl. That's excellent. How are you doing, Z? We're doing okay. And you, Captain? Fine, thank you. We'll cut each other's throat just now. <laughs> and, um, Pinky and the brain. <laughs> all good, all good. I'm Pinky. Pinky. Brain. This is a competition. Oh. You're too friendly. Huh? Looking good, looking good. The one our judges not on fire. What was it, Axel? Where was that yeah. saucer you just had? The saucer. I put it over there, behind. Behind you there. Oh, yes. It's going down, Dean. What was the on the end? Yes, sir. Hey. Happy days. Hey, they busy. Teams? Remember that you need to switch your oven on. Why do we need our ovens on? Because we're not going to use the oven, but maybe another team forgot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you with that? Yeah, I, I don't. I have a normal Molenex blender at home. This is like a gadget for me. Please, Mama, make a snipe. And how are we doing here? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Look at the cutting skills. Yeah. Very good. I'm, I'm just impressed. Just scared of his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> very, very impressed. Curry mushrooms, the spring onions, spring onions, the sweet basil. Sweet basil. Brainstormers, Hello. how are we doing? Very well. Hello. Are we very on well. time? Yes. No, more than enough time. Hey, you guys look very, very. Very calm. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're in control. <laughs> what is your 
secret ingredient when it comes to making this dish? Well, the secret ingredient, I think, um, is actually here in the chicken, and that's one of the spices. We actually use crayfish, prawn, and calamari spice that you mix together with your chicken dish. So you're basically putting a bit of a, a, a seafood spice on a chicken dish? Definitely. I like that. And it absolutely works. I like that. It's a hit. For me, it's just more about uh, getting on with showing South Africa how you can make really nice, fresh, summery stuff that you can involve kids in and have fun together. First, we need to cut up. Oh, yeah, I need to start that up, right? She was looking forward to Let's burning go. that charcoal and doing the whole smoking thing. Did you have fun using that? Uh, yeah, the... The blowtorch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Go. Let, let, let. Five minutes. Smoky. Let it smoke. Time check for our teams. You have 15 minutes left. Hello. We are so in control. We're loving it. And it's that, going huh? so well. Nice color. So vegetables are ready. Definitely. Uh, you just left with what? With the, the chicken breast? And enough time to intimidate the other teams. <laughs> this is a countdown to your last five minutes. Can I start putting the butter chicken? Yeah. When cooking at home, I know I need exactly three teaspoons and exactly, and I know exactly how it will taste. So this was very much me tasting as I was going along. Maybe they might find it a bit spicy.